All right, it's Thursday, January the 30th, 2020. You can see how much wood I've gone through already. If you remember that row over there was full. I moved the tiller and two wheeler over there to make some room. Then I had two long rows here and I've got the last of that in the trailer. That's what I use the trailer for in the winter time is I just take a trailer load at a time down to the house and I leave it outside. There's still spiders and things in there. But I have really gone through the wood. I've got this row. It's mixed elm, oak, a little bit of oak, and ash mostly. That'll be next week's wood. And this row over here is maple, mostly maple. I threw a, no, that's mostly maple. And then back here we still got the shag bark hickory, which is not quite dry enough yet. And over here against the wall, we got honey locust. That burns pretty good. I threw a couple pieces of that in the trailer just to see how it did. But over here, I just noticed one of these woolly worms. They're supposed to predict the winter when they're solid black like that. It's supposed to be a cold, snowy winter, which we haven't had yet. Actually, it's been kind of mild. It's going to be in the 60s next week. That's pretty good for February. Then you can see the groundhog. We'll probably see its shadow because he's wasting no time at all. Tearing up the barn floor. It's all dirt, but still, she, he's got holes everywhere. Well, anyway, let me get back. Moving firewood. That's the main job in the winter around here. Now, the video I shot yesterday, which I think was 53, uh, if you remember, I pulled the uh, first log down to the long-term uh, wood disposal area. I turned the tractor off and it wouldn't start back up. So we're going to try today. I plugged it in right before I started on the firewood. I plugged it in and we're going to see if it'll start today, I think I need a fuel filter. So far, so good. It's lighting up. Give it a second for the glow plugs to warm. See, I still got the wood outside. Got the top covered. Try to keep some water off of it. Equipment seems to hate me. But I'm going to change that fuel filter anyway. Oh, what do we got? Oh, almost 600 hours, so yeah. 
Probably wouldn't hurt. That and maybe the air filter too. But as always, things don't go like you think they're going to. I would have swore this tractor wouldn't have started today. Let me uh, get this unplugged. Jeez, that's tight. All right. cord up here all right you can see the barn deconstruction is coming along I think I'm gonna have to take all these old rotten rafters out of here and I think I can go up you can see that board up there once all this is gone I think I'm gonna raise there's a better shot of it right there. That board, which is going to be a good foot, 14 inches taller than it is now. And I'm going to get the roof up that much higher for now. Don't think it'll be too bad. The biggest expense will just be in getting the steel or lumber, whatever I decide to use. And that's the siding that's fallen off over the years and the old tractor battery. It's holding it down there so it don't blow away. Pretty quiet out here today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.